Hello everyone, welcome to Vinotratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about control statement. We can also say it as decision making statement. Before we start control statement, we will see a small coding concept which is called Python indentation. Here you can see a sample Java program which is used to find whether the user age is less than or equal to 18. Using braces, we can be able to write the coding concepts. That is, it will check whether the user is less than or equal to 18. If this condition is true, then with the help of braces, first statement will be executed. In case, if this is false, then else statement will be executed. This is how in many programming languages like C, C++, Java, it uses the braces. But in Python, instead of braces, we have to use the indentation. Before every statement, we have to use four white spaces or one tab key. Just remember the syntax alone now. We will implement this concept in control statement. In Python, control statement is used for decision making. A decision making means you are going to say yes or no. But here it's like true or false. We are going to check for a condition. If that condition is true, then it will execute a piece of code. If the condition is false, then it will execute some other piece of code. Totally, we have four types of control statement. If, if else, if, elif, else, and a nested if. We'll see one by one. The first one is if statement. By saying this flowchart, you can guess its usage. First, it will check for the condition. If the condition is true, then the code will be executed. If the condition is false, it will go to the next line. The syntax here is if this is a keyword, then here we have to give the condition after that colon, then the statement. Here we have a concept called indentation, right? Here you have to press the tab key. If not, press four white spaces. The first example, program to check whether the user age is below 18 or not. We already seen how to write it in the Java. Now we'll see it in the Python. We declared user age variable and the value is 15. Now just see above the syntax, if keyword, then condition user underscore age is less than or equal to 18. After this, we must give the colon. If you press enter, automatically it came to this position. It means it is four white space or tab key. In case if it does not happen, just press the tab key. Now print the output message. Print user age is 18 or younger. When we execute, the if condition will check here 15 is less than or equal to 18 of course it is true then this particular statement will be executed we'll execute and see shift enter the value is 18 or younger exactly working same program i'm just trying to execute for the false condition as per the definition if boolean expression evaluates to false then the first set of code after the end of the if statement is executed the literal meaning here is if it is false then directly it will execute the next line we'll make this 20 20 is less than or equal to 18 which is false finally it will come out of the if condition and this statement will be executed press shift enter this line will be executed always hope you got an idea how if statement is working if you understood the if statement then if else is very easy the flowchart says if the condition is true it will execute set of statement if it is false then the body of else is executed based on the syntax we will write the program here once again, same program, user age equal to 20. If this statement is false, then as per the syntax, else, colon, enter. Then it should print user age is above 18. If it is true, the statement will be executed. If it is false, else statement will be executed. Just run it, the user age is above 18 because 20 is less than or equal to 18 which is a false statement and finally user age is 
above 18 statement is printed. One more example for better clarity. Directly I am showing it. This is to verify whether the number is positive or not. The number value equal to 10. The 10 is greater than 0. So it's a positive number. If it is true, it will display positive number. If it is false, then it will display the else statement. That is negative number. So positive number. Change this value to minus 1 and run it. You will get the negative number. This is how we have to use the if and if else statement. I don't want to make it a lengthy video. So splitting the control statement into two videos. In next video, we'll learn about if elif else and a nested if statement. I have mentioned the materials URL in the video description. Please use it for reference. Thanks for watching.